Okay, Brian, let's try it again, buddy. They're, they're great looking cars though still. Oh, here we are. All right, here, uh, Bitcoin. All right. And, uh, but Brian, uh, I, you're really an FX guy, so yeah. we've had quite a bit of coverage on Bitcoin this week. If you want to talk about it, that's fine. I noticed in your stream you do a lot of uh, crypto, but uh, kind of interested uh, if you can hear me, Brian. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, what your views are with King Dollar in the great week it's had here. Uh, maybe we could go to your, you know, I, I believe you probably, if you've been trading for a while, cut your teeth in FX. Am I right? Yeah, FX is my main uh, go-to market. Um, crypto is something I'm kind of playing around with with the same yeah. method I use for FX, okay. and it works 100%. And this All is why right. I just wanted to kind of briefly show a few uh, images on what I do before I go into the market. FX. Okay, Okay. sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, before you get started, uh, how yeah. long have you been trading, buddy? Uh, this would be my almost six years. Okay. Uh, and what was, what, what was your life like before that? How did it happen for you? That you got uh, I went trade. to the military back in uh, during the 9/11 time, and then okay. moved to Nashville, Tennessee. Went to the uh, Clarksville near Fort Campbell, opened up a local coffee shop, and it didn't do enough for me to keep it. So I got into uh, FX through an uh, Instagram post, which I went through many mentorship scammers for a year or two. Um, did you find any good ones? Oh They're no, not all scammers. <laughs> No? Oh, no, yeah, it's stuff you could have like Google for free and you know, mm -hmm. but no one taught me at the time, so I was self taught. Okay. Uh, same thing as Kumar, you know, my friend. And, right, um, Kumar, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I uh, met someone in the mentorship program. Uh, his brother was a Singapore central banker worker that was uh, retired and kind of went through mentorship through him over three years, and it was like the hardest. Uh, education ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, five, it, it, you know, it's, I mean, I why should it be easy? Yeah. <laughs> it's not, you know. You know, and it, let me ask you this. You're, you've been at it six years. How many yeah. years, uh, you know, I've interviewed multiple people over the years. How uh -huh. many years did it take you to make a breakthrough and start becoming say about, more consistent? Uh, my first uh, four years was very up and down, like maybe 60%. Success you know, that's the, that's the answer I get a lot yeah. from people that have made it. Uh, so uh, it's really not much different than, you know, for your degree or being an apprentice electrician or yeah. carpenter, <laughs> you know, right? So yes. uh, you were, so it's hard, but you were lucky to find the guy. Yeah. So um, the main reason is, uh, is indicators. Indicators are provided on the MT4 platform or trading view to make you fail and to limit your profits. Everyone gets stopped out for a reason. And this is the example I'm gonna show you why that happens. And uh, there's only two other people in the FX market that trade exactly like me. And those two are my mentors. And I teach uh, locally. Those two, are, um, those two are what? Uh, one is Michael Huddiston from uh, Massachusetts. Okay, I know. And I, one I, is uh, Traders Z on okay. Twitter, that's his handle. Yeah. yeah, he was he, uh, Michael uh, mentored Saeed. Yeah, so those two yeah, are yeah. the only two that trade, you know, or I trade like them, more like. So okay, um, it's not something easy, but it looks very simple. Okay, words. yeah, you guys um, trade naked, and I always recommend people that yes. trade naked uh, keep the shades drawn. Yes, because it avoids the uh, drawdown. You know, and you don't want people to see you trading naked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> All right. Um, how do I minimize? Okay. There. All right. So in this example, um, just imagine this is any other, you know, uh, FX chart because it looks exactly the same. Uh, this right. is on a five-minute time frame, and I lay out all the direction moves exactly to the detail. Uh, if you look at the middle, it says, FYI, this move will happen really fast, resulting in a wick on a candle closure. So the uh, rectangle boxes are indicating where the stop boxes are hiding. 
anywhere that's equal highs or equal lows or anywhere in the consolidation on a wedge obvious. or trending pattern, it always obvious, goes up. obvious yeah. uh, swing highs and lows. Yes, it always goes up before the down move continuation. So the highest point is right in the middle. Uh, the most nearest point is where the red circle is, where I noted there, right? Yes. Uh, clearly, you see uh, one, two, three clear highs, right? So I'm going to move to the next uh, image, if I can. Oh. All right, so notice there um, where you see the arrow, it does not clear out the very high rectangle, but it clears out the all three equal highs. So it will not go down before taking out the last one, right? It's got to clear every, every one out. And there, it clears it out. That mean Mr. Mark, it's always shaking out people before the move they're looking for yes. happens. So that's why I uh, encourage, uh, there's a lot of uh, psychological aspect in trading. Very emotional, a lot of people like to chase the fast moves, and it's equivalent to where you go to the casinos. There's algorithmic um, studies for uh, gamblers that go to casinos. It always works, you know? They always go to the ATM, withdraw more money. It's the same thing in the FX market. You lose more, what do you do? You reinvest and re-enter because you want to make up your losses. Uh, it's the same concept. It makes you chase. It's very emotional. Sometimes it does double fake moves, right? Um, and that's where the indicators is a holdback for a lot of traders. It always stops them out. And they re-enter. And then what happens in New York session after London session, economic news pops right back up and not your stop loss stop for going down to the main direction. Um, so uh, the last... Last stop, last stop. Uh, let me ask you something, Brian, and I, you know, yeah. I'm not doubting your success, but uh, uh, does your strategy fail you at times? Oh, yes. Um, right now, it's at a 10-year reversal on every market. Um, you can see you know, Bitcoin is getting close to that 5,000 mark uh, before the reversal. Uh, you can see the gold. Um, I can show you uh, the charting on that where it finally hit a, you know, um, Pivotal mark to go back up on a 4,000 pip range. Uh, dollar yen, same thing. Um, okay. Euro USD, pound USD, all the majors, they're all at a reversal point. And a lot of people, I'm sure, went up and down, up and down, you know, because the reversal time frame on a daily or weekly takes longer to form that reversal pattern before it continues okay. on. So this rally in the dollar, you'd be fading and gold at 1181, which was 61.8 back of that first rally is... Uh, a buy in your view and your work yes uh so determining that um conclusion uh i use order blocks the order blocks is the down candle before the impulse up move. so i'm going to use that as a reference point for it to reject and continue okay. to bounce in the same direction so we're looking at a monthly here right Yes, I trade off of monthly, weekly, just like the banks. That's how I was trained. All right, beautiful. Uh, so you're uh, you're kind of an astrom astronomer, like a Galileo, yes. rather than uh, most people using their microscope or magnifying glass that get whipped around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. So, so as you can see on weekly, uh, the peak that came, you know, in the beginning of the year, it looked yeah. very confusing to a lot of people. You know, it went sideways, accumulated. Yeah. Um, and it distributed. So this yeah, a lot of people right. were looking for a breakout back then. That yes. would have taken it much higher. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this pattern is the first break out of the consolidation, out of the first peak right there. Right. So right. whenever I see a down move and an up move, the next candle should blow through below, but it didn't. That indicated me it was a consolidation of a five wave, you know, correction for most uh, early wave trade. So it would be one, two, three, four, and then the following week, that candle right here knocked out all three weeks prior stop loss. Yeah, and it's that's right. targeting that low, right? Yeah. So as it moves down there, this is my uh, 389 pip move, uh, which is awesome. Um, and it happened on a Friday. Usually the weekly range is very low, but I think uh, Canada uh, or uh, Canadian and dollar uh, gold pairs, uh, they move pretty good on Fridays. Um, so 
how do I determine how far it's going to go? It's a lot of indicator traders, they don't know how far it's going to go. They just, you know, take their, um, you know, profit safely and re-enter at a, you know, at another time. Uh, so a lot of FIP traders will know exactly how far it will go. So using, I have a custom FIB, uh, can't really share that, <laughs> but I'll show you um, the level where this is the last low right here. So what about that spike in Asia at 1160? Was that like 88.3 back or something like that? Uh, the whole move? Yeah, 1160. Yes. This was is the a move. clear rejection off the buy order block on the weekly candle, which is right here. Yeah, it wasn't clear so, when it was happening, but uh, I do recall the day. Uh, and yeah. the bottom was yeah. in Asia. Asia, which was kind of unusual that Asia would come in and they turn it there. So, okay. Yeah. So you think that's um, 1180? So you're you'd be long at the yes, 1180 long level. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, and you're wrong under 1160, like everyone else, or what? Yes. Long or yes. wrong before that? Uh, long down here, and then wrong, wrong down every, there. Yeah, long, long. A long. So every yeah, going long. Okay, so you're looking for a new low in gold, first. No, 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 no. This is the lowest. It's not gonna go any lower. Okay, so you'd uh, you you'd be a buyer down there, right here at 1180, or are you waiting for more weakness? Oh, I like so I sold yesterday uh, on see. a movement okay. down from here to here. Take out that low. Yeah, you're getting a reversal right. today. Yeah. Yes. So if I you see. look at the uh, area here, there's no other stop loss for money or liquidity resting at the bottom side. Mm-hmm. So if I were to use the FIB tool from here to here, right, right. that lines up exactly at the 78.6 retracement, all right? Clearly rejected on a daily candle. If this is going up, then dollars should be starting to get weaker as it should come down starting next week. So that's right. your correlation. Yes, I do many it. correlations. So gold mm -hmm. correlation, I use a dollar Swiss and Aussie dollar for negative and positive correlation. Okay. Um, yeah, so money on the top side is still resting on, let's see, 12, 14, 45. Downside is clear, so there's no reason for it to go down anymore. So if you okay. look at the reversal patterns, this would be a you know potential, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Uh, w forming on a long term. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, higher so low. Good. Higher low. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it was 61.8 back today. Uh, 11.81. Yeah. I was looking so, for that low. Okay. Uh, my first target will be at um, 12.40. Okay. Yeah, that would be time. that would be a quality off the first rally, right? Yes. Uh huh. And that would clear out all the near-term uh, liquidity levels on these ugly highs, equal highs, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. long red candle and a sell order block right on that candle and that's where it should first reject before we're going higher so in a higher term um going back on a monthly uh this first move up here and retracement that um completed the market structure break or a trend shift or you know whatever you want to call it um as it rejected on the next order block which i mentioned before if you draw the extension levels from the swing, the range from here to here would be the first area to stop, would be that neck line on the peak, all right? So you can look at it different ways, but I use uh, the order block versus support and resistance levels. I don't use any trend lines or um, anything like that because I, all the wicks and everything includes them on a shorter time frame. I use every data. So that lines up a lot better. 1600. So the range, yeah. So the range from here to here is about you know, 4,042 pips. Uh, so, you know, a lot of position traders, they may hold it, but, you know, the retail traders, they'll probably enter on a buy, pull back to a buy. So it'll uh, accumulate to more than, you know, 10,000 pips. Okay, <clears throat> nice look. And uh, you were saying uh, you thought the yen might be peaking. Yeah, so dollar yen. Had a pretty uh, good was, week. Pretty good week. Yeah, 
I was looking at uh, one of your guys uh, live yesterday. Um, you know, uh, I encourage a lot of my students like do not use indicators for that purpose because indicators you're relying on signals mainly, right? You're dependent on what the uh, RSI, uh, you know, moving averages. It has to close on a candle closure, so you're drawing there. Okay. So this looks like a short to you, Brian? I think we may have lost you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, uh, you're breaking up on me, buddy. Maybe it's your internet connection. We'll wait. You there, Brian? We got booted off again. He's offline again. All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, you could tell Brian's very good. Uh, if you want to follow him, it's at Ghost C Charlie FX. I don't know if he's going to be back. Um, only had about eight minutes left. Uh, he doesn't have a website, so check him out and say thank you. And we'll wrap that up. Hope everyone had a good week. Remember, uh, if you're looking for a place to have an account, you're not happy or you want to have multiple accounts, get a hold of Trent, Justin at Forest Park FX. Okay, and uh, don't forget, this is the best weekend for the rest of the year to become a part of our trading community. So look forward to working with everyone. See you in October. And most of all, remember everyone, don't just count your pips, count your blessings, and we'll see everyone on Monday. Enjoy. Adios, warriors.